In tomorrow's State of the Union address, the president is expected to propose changes to some federal taxes. The president's plan includes raising one tax rate for high-income Americans. That extra revenue would be going to some middle-income families. But many Republicans in Congress already oppose that proposal. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe is here now to explain the plan and how some of our elected officials are responding to this. Andrew? Michelle, the White House says President Obama wants to generate $320 billion in revenue over the next 10 years. It would come through a series of tax increases on wealthy Americans, but the plan needs approval from the Republican-controlled Congress. Tonight, we bring you multiple views. When he delivers his State of the Union speech Tuesday night, President Obama will likely refer to a stronger national economy. Our job now is to make sure that every American feels that they're a part of our country's comeback. The White House says the president will propose a plan to benefit middle-income families. That includes a new $500 credit for families where both spouses work and expanding the child care tax credit up to $3,000 per child under age 5. Getting more money into the hands of, of families with children I don't think is a bad a bad goal. I just don't think that redistributing it through or filtering it through Washington, D.C. is a very efficient way to do it. The president would propose raising taxes on high income earners' investments. He would increase the total top capital gains rate for families making $500,000 or more a year. It would rise from 23.8 to 28 percent. The president also wants to eliminate tax breaks on inheritances and add a fee on some of the nation's largest financial firms. In a statement, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin says she applauds the president for putting forward a plan to make those at the top pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for the middle class and strengthen their economic security. President Obama knows that the chance of uh, getting those proposals through Congress are, are virtually zero. Area Republicans don't support the president's approach of taxing one group more to help another. And that is going to be a zero-sum game that accomplishes nothing. It would be nice if President Obama would come up with suggestions as to how government would not spend so much money. But both sides hope this debate will lead to more conversation about how to grow America's economy. During the State of the Union address, the president is also expected to talk about some other proposals, including making community college free for many students, increasing paid leave for workers, and enacting broader cybersecurity rules. Michelle? All right, Andrew, thanks. We have an interactive look at the president's State of the Union address, including a quiz about past speeches. You'll find that on our website, fox11online.com. Just look for the story on our homepage. And by the way, the White House has invited 22 special guests to tomorrow night's speech. Among them is Alan Gross and his wife. Alan Gross returned home to Maryland last month after spending five years imprisoned in Cuba. Astronaut Scott Kelly will also be there. In March, he's going to be blasting off in a year-long space mission, the longest ever for a U.S. astronaut. And Larry Merlot, the CEO of CVS Health, will also sit next to the First Lady Michelle Obama. Last year, his company pulled cigarettes, cigars, and other tobacco products from its store shelves. President Obama, who is a former smoker, applauded the decision. You can see the President's State of the Union address tomorrow night at 8 o'clock right here on Fox 11. We will also stream it for you on our website, fox11online.com. Fox 11 News at 9 will then follow the President's address.